I'm playing the role of somebody who's actually participating in the value chain. So I am now going to play a role of a cultivator, Purity IQ, which is basically your intellectual property protection using blockchain and cannabis genomes. You have a distributor, you have the healthcare practitioner, which I just mentioned for cannabis consultations. And indeed you have a retailer, anybody who's gonna retail. So if I undergo a fixie cultivator, KYC, then that information goes back to Brad's back office. His team then reviewed the KYC, make sure, and we run it against uh, bad actor lists, sanctions lists, uh, FBI most wanted, no fly lists and so on. So if this person is a bad actor, we do not want them telling us about cannabis. We, we don't trust them. So we know everybody who's going to tell us about a cannabis event in any product's life cycle that I've just ingested, that cannabis event will be from a known person. That's really, really important. So with that in mind, I'm just gonna switch mode here uh, in my debug version. What I'll actually do here is I'm just gonna turn on the role of cultivator. And lo and behold, most of you folks won't be able to see this, but if I refresh my screen, I now have new tiles because I am now actually being approved by Brad's back office as a cultivator. What's the first thing I do? I define my grow. What's the name of my farm? What's the name of this, etc. And all I do all through this, I add logos and selfies and locations. I then define my mother plant. I can add a mother plant. I can take my fingerprint kit. I can receive a certificate of authenticity. I can do a photograph of the mother plant, the date it was planted. Obviously it's genome and seed and record other events that may have happened, whether I have to use a pesticide this week or whether I, before a clipping I had to do something else like with feeding regimes. I can record all of these things. Why is this important? Well, it's because all of these events that the grower, the cultivator is going to attest to, they will be shown to you, the consumer. You're gonna walk into a store, a pharmacy, an Aldi, a little, wherever it's on for sale, you'll hold up your phone, you'll scan a QR code from Brad, and it's going to retell the story that I show you here on my screen. So next I'll define my greenhouses, my grow zones, I'll define a batch, I can create a batch, and of course I create a batch from a mother plant, so I have to nominate the mother plant and the grower, and all these other parts, I link all of this effectively, supply chain events uh, together. And now the batch is grown, and when the batch is grown, what is it doing? Of course, it's harvested. You photograph the harvest. You may use a drying oven if you're using CBD that's going to go into an oil, for instance, and you're not going to ingest it by smoking or something. Uh, so you can do all of these things in the batch. When the batch is grown and harvested and dried, you can then send it to a lab. You have all your laboratories. All of our systems were designated, a lab, a batch, a farm, wherever I'm attesting to events, all of them are GPS location driven. And we can ring fence using geofences. So if somebody says, oh, here's a photograph of a cannabis plant and it's 12 miles away from where it's supposed to be, then we will not allow that to occur. So you have to be on premises and you have to be the right person that with KYC in AML. There is no more trustworthy solution on planet Earth about what you're about to ingest in your system than this platform. It tells you every single step of the way. Then your lab result goes in, the Purity IQ fingerprint. This attests to the intellectual property of the fact that this was grown this batch came was derived from this mother plant with this fingerprint all those things happen under the hood after that then what you're going to do is you're going to distribute the product you're going to send it to a destination this is very important you create what's called a digital twin qr code and that qr code is created at this juncture while it's in transit we use this in europe in particular i'm based out of switzerland uh, we use it so that when you cross the border and you scan the qr code it will show the goods are in transit and then when the goods arrive at the destination the receiver of those goods at the depot or the pharmacy, depending on where you've shipped it to, will scan that QR code to say it has arrived. It's no longer in transit and therefore can be cloned and you know scammed through the border and pretending to the border guard that this is the same shipment. So this is all part of the compliance side of things that we do. So not only do we do compliance of who's doing uh, the attestation for all of the steps of a cannabis life cycle, we're actually also going through who's actually uh, the, the process of the goods being transmitted. And one thing there, any of you who have a, a camera phone on you at the moment, it might be worthwhile if you want to try this to be able to see how a story is told. Uh, if you uh, hold your camera up and you scan that particular QR code, that QR code is going to tell you a story. That story is going to tell you all about what has just uh, occurred with this plant, when it was grown, when everything else, all the events to do with it and how it's, it's been worked. So it's just to show you how the whole system actually hangs together. And as I said, this app is available right now uh, on the App Store. So when you now go through and you do all that, I'm gonna come back out from being a cultivator. I've now gone to my Aldi in Lidl and back to what I said before, I see a, a QR code on the screen or I see a QR code uh, basically available to me to scan. I can just scan it and it's gonna tell me all about the goods that I'm about to ingest. And Brad's back office at that point, 
has all the data points effectively for uh, the consumer, all the data points for the cultivator, the retailer, the distributor, everybody involved in the value chain. And there's dozens of people involved in the value chain that basically buy a license from Brad on a software uh, basis. So it's a SaaS model, software as a service model. Then they contribute all of this data into the back office. And then Brad's system with his machine learning and his AI build a big data picture on every grower, every strain, every uh, consumption event, uh, every negative reaction. It's effectively like a clinical trial, but it's for every single cultivator that licenses Brad's technology. And that, that for me is really, really critical about the whole thing and how it starts. You just come back to what I, how I started with at the beginning is to say, I have bought this product. It's in my home. For instance, just to give an example, uh, if I turn on my camera, there's a, there's a ca cannabis plant here that I can see. I can see the QR code here. Uh, I can tap it and it's just going to go in and tell me all about this product as if I just bought it from the store. So it's just going to tell me everything I need to know. I can then hit the plus minus and it's just going to tell me the full story, uh, the name, the logo, when it was planted, the selfie of the farmer, there you go. Uh, that's an interesting photograph. Uh, so other photographs, here's the Purity IQ fingerprint kit. So that's how that looks, that's a bit of a joke for us. Uh, and then we go down to the genome and the seed, for instance, we can talk all about uh, where it came from us, THC, uh, CBDs, uh, all the various uh, parts of the plant done. And then we just can go down and tell all sort of when it was added, how it was harvested, when it was dried. This is information that me, before I'm going to rub a cream on the elbow of a child with eczema that says CBD cream is good for eczema, I want to know that I'm about to rub that on the elbow of a child to make sure that it is legit, grown properly, has been tested to, has a lab test that I can actually look at. Now, if there's any photo events that I need to see, uh, what lab results look like, so I can go and tap the lab results that passed. There's all the various therapies and all the analyses that you can have. And if you're a parent or if you're somebody who needs to, to find decent uh, cannabis-based medical products or cannabis-based uh, CBD foods, uh, then this will tell you more about your product than you're ever likely to see from any other platform in the world. And then that big data goes back to contribute to the efficacy of the plants themselves that are planted and then consumed. 